Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade, and this is the Oh My God Show, and we are reading through the Bible, and we are in the book of Leviticus. Now, the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. It has a total of 66 books. Now, each book is divided into chapters and verses. Now, the Bible has the ability to change your life because certainly it has changed mine. In chapter 5, verse 1, it says, If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt or if they touch human uncleanliness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it. But then they learn of it and realize their guilt. Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter, one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it. But then they learn of it and realize their guilt. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what they have sinned. They must confess in what way they have sinned. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flocks as a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. In verse 7 it says, Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed and they will be forgiven. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offering presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. In verse 13, it says, In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest as in the case of the grain offering. In verse 14, it says, The Lord said to Moses, When anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and a proper value in silver according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them at, with the ram as a guilt offering and they will be forgiven. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. They are to bring to the priest as a guilt offering a ram from the flocks one without defect and of proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally and they will be forgiven. In verse 19 and last, it says, it is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of the wrongdoing against the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Thank you so much for watching. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor in our lives. I thank you, God, for sparing our lives, God, even though many times we, we live in sin, even many times we commit sins. But Father God, you consistently spare us, oh God, and give us another chance to come back to you and repent. I pray, oh God, that you will give us a heart, oh God. 
Wash us, O oh God, with Aesop so that we shall be clean. Cleanse us, dear Jesus Christ, so that we shall be whiter than snow. Give us the grace to come to you, to humble our hearts before you, and to ask you, O oh God, to forgive us. Forgive me of my sins, O oh God, and cleanse me, God, of my unrighteousness. Father God, I pray my subscribers, my viewers, oh God, also my family, my friends, that they will be, have the strength, oh God, to, to come to you, to cry out to you, to ask for forgiveness, and to know as well that once we have life still in our body, oh God, there is still hope for us. There is still hope that we can come to you, that we can hand over our lives to you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And remember, guys, just before you go, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. And let's see what's going to happen as we go um, deeper into the scriptures. Bye. See you next time. I'm Blade and I'm cutting.